Hello and welcome to the NIS Truck League. We are at Circuit of the Americas, which is going to be a very interesting, very, very interesting uh, event here. We're going to jump out for qualifying real quick, not waste any time, because it is time-based. We have unlimited laps, but um, of course it takes about two minutes to get around this place. So we're jumping out as soon as possible. Don't want to waste any time. I've done a lot of practice for this because this is... I'd say this is easily the most difficult track we've done so far. It is just absurdly difficult. Anytime you bring a stock car of any kind to a road course, just very challenging. And uh, certainly America is very technical course too. Which just uh, makes it that much more difficult, so. We're just going to do our best. I think it's going to be important just to keep consistent. Keep it on track. Keep the truck clean. All that good stuff. That was not a very good way to take that turn, but that's okay. We're just on our outlap. Just getting my uh, rhythm in. I was provided a setup by Daniel, so much appreciation to him. Just a uh, race setup, so there's no difference between my Q setup and the race setup, but um, I mean, obviously it's going to be all about the person sitting in the cockpit, too. Um, when it's such a challenging race like this. And speaking of... It's probably going to be tough for me to talk a lot of the time. Just because I will need to focus a whole lot on my braking points and uh, being very careful on the throttle. Uh, I mean, you can see just on the bottom left like how careful I have to be with the throttle and how easy it'll try to snap on me at any point, so... It will not be easy, by any means. Try to get a good run of the line. Alright. Here we go. Let's do some qualifying, huh? Can't get any off tracks or else the lap does not count, of course. So that's going to make this extra challenging, because during the race, Nick has said no worries about getting off tracks. Just, uh, obviously, you can't be getting, uh, can't be getting time slowdowns. You'll have to deal with that as normal. But, um, track limits are mostly intended, uh, and expected to be used by stuff like F1 and everything, and actual road cars, and in real life, they're definitely more lax with stock cars like this when it comes to track limits. That was, again, kind of a weird way to take that, but <laughs> I guess that works. Just gotta make sure I get a lap in, first and foremost. Although I think this first lap is probably gonna be the best lap, I, I would think. Just because the uh, rear tires, they can get heated up real quick when you're trying to go fast. And uh, that means you can't drive off as well. Which of course can make for a less quick lap. This part of the course very treacherous. You can gain and lose a lot of time right here. Alright, I think that's a solid lap. That'll count. 218. 
Two se oh god, 217. Uh, I hope that's good enough. It's not gonna be... I mean, that's not good enough. Overdriving turn one because I'm thinking about my last lap before worrying about my next one here. But... Just making the show would be nice. It's tough to say how competitive I'll be. Because, uh... I think this might be the first road course in a stock car we've done for any of the league races. Though I could be wrong. P7 right now. That's not too bad. Hopefully that doesn't drop too much further. Oh, a little bit too hard on the throttle there. See, it feels like the first lap I would have been okay with that. Okay doing that. And then the second lap you get some tire spin already, so. So I'm thinking maybe that first lap might be where you want to get it done. But I'm far from an expert when it comes to this stuff. Usually I'm just happy to make it to the end in one piece when it comes to racing on a, uh, on road in a stock car. Yeah, just shift into neutral, good idea. That's a fast way to get around here. <laughs> if you needed any more proof, I am far from an expert. <laughs> yeah, put it in neutral. To be fair, that I'd probably be faster if I did shift it into neutral. Able to avoid the off track so far though, which is nice. If I can at least, you know, keep it on the track, there's value in that. I keep driving a little bit too hard into turn one there and getting some wheel up. I'm just trying too hard, I think. It's often said with these stock cars on road. That slow is fast. Because the more you start driving all over the place, going off track and going wide and over driving entries, the then it ends up just taking you longer to get to where you need to go. And uh, of course during the race I definitely will be driving it a little easier probably a decent bit easier just to be safe and uh... Oof, excuse me. <laughs> while I do a backflip on my wheel um... just to keep the tires happy, keep the tire temps down as much as possible, that good stuff so I did make a couple small adjustments to Daniel's setup so if if I fail it's I can't even I mean, I, <laughs> it's all my fault set up if I messed it up and my driving, so only person to blame is myself if anything's wrong. Um, the temperatures get a little bit warm, especially early on, but I think they're going to be just fine. Right now I'm pushing really hard, trying to hit good laps. And, uh, sorry, it's so difficult. And uh, that's going to make the tire, or the engine temps go up. Whereas during the race, I can take it easier. If it's getting hot, and it's probably just what I need to be doing anyway. So I'm okay with uh, it kind of getting to that orange area. I gotta slow it down a little bit more before turning in. I think. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna back out. I've got a P7 time right now. 
which is a second off the poll time, but that's, that is what it is. We still have five minutes. I'll try to get some fresh tires here, but you can see they're already at 97, 96. The rear's wearing out more than the fronts because of getting on throttle. If I can get around for one more fresh tire lap, essentially, maybe I could try to get something a little bit better, but either way, I need all the practice I can get, so. The adjustments I made to the setup, which are almost definitely ill-advised, <laughs> I messed with the gear ratio a little bit because there's one part of the track where I really prefer not to shift into third and keep it in second gear. And uh, in order to achieve that, it made like the uh, okay, revs a little, bit, a little bit slower, which I think is going to be a good thing anyway. So I'm not spinning my rear tires up just because it's difficult to be disciplined with that. So I did that, and then to compensate, mess with the tape a little bit since the temperatures aren't going to get quite as high, not hitting those high RPMs so much. Just add a little bit more tape. I felt like I could get away with a little bit more uh, during practice. Like I said, I actually did practice quite a bit. We'll see if it pays off or not, but I wanted to be prepared for this one. I actually uh, didn't end up uploading my last race of the K5 championship at Oxford Plains because... Ooh, that was a good corner. Because um, I had to alt F4, so I'll explain the whole story. I uh, tried to make my own setup for it and just spectacularly failed. It seemed like everybody was having some trouble. Um, making it to the end of the race because we have no tire changes in that series and I blew my right front tire like halfway through the race just not even close to making it to the end and I ended up accidentally wrecking someone at one point and it was just not great <laughs> none of it was great and uh, even still I would have uploaded it just fine like I just would have accepted that I was not good but when I blew my right front tire, I was in the middle of getting lapped on the inside, and Oxford Plains being just a straight up circle, the whole field was just on the inside of me. There was never a chance for me to move to the inside, and with a blown tire, it takes me a year and a half to turn left into the pits. And so I was in a situation where it was going to be very dangerous for me to even try to get to the pits. And once you go into the pits, you can't come out unless there's a caution anyway. So my race was over. I mean, it was over the moment I blew a tire because you don't have any more tires. So my race was over, and because I alt f forward, as in just immediately left the race, I wasn't able to get a thumbnail or anything for it. And so what I ended up having reported was like, an hour plus of just watching heat races and people qualifying for it and everything and which I am lucky I made it into the feature race in that to begin with I'm pushing too hard trying to get a good lap here it's not happening though I ended up uh, just with a whole recording of just watching heat races and then me not being competitive at all in the race and then I didn't have a thumbnail to use because I had to leave immediately and so just nothing there that anybody wouldn't want to watch and I figure the better perspectives are going to be Nick and Gavin anyway. Boys of course have their uploads. So that's, it's not like it's not reported on the internet somewhere, <laughs> I guess. I tried, uh, I tried to go faster that lab didn't over. God, 216. 
Good lordy. <laughs> So, that's okay, we got P8, I'm happy with that. Gavin right behind us, Check that's interesting. Eighth place. But race pace and qualifying pace are gonna be much different, I think. So I think everybody makes the show. 36 people. Yeah, we only have 31 people here, so everybody's gonna make it. Oops. And uh, I'm gonna go back and look at some of what Nick was saying. Because there are some unique rules in here, being a road course. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have no full course cautions like in the traditional sense, because that's not how it works on iRacing. You get local cautions on road courses. Um, but to try to keep it sort of realistic with the possibility of yellow flags... Um, we are going to have like a random draw. Nick is going to be drawing a random out of a deck of cards, drawing, I think, a Joker card uh, means he will throw a full course caution if he pulls one of those out of the deck. So we could end up with no cautions, and I think the max is two cautions we could possibly get, and that's just going to be completely random. Let me unmute that in case I'm missing anything, anything important. Uh, so that's something interesting that's going to be different for this time. Hey, is the, the uh, voice, voice or the, or the chat, chat working, working, or is everybody just everybody being really quiet? I think everybody's quiet. Really quiet. Everybody I, quiet. No. I had it muted for a okay, second. Okay, there was something messed, messed up with my computer. computer. The chat's concentrating. Everybody's moving over the chat hard. Oh, oh man, man, I think I'm, I'm off the throttle eighty percent of the time. So stages at twelve and twenty-six. Up, that's good to know. And I think it was just because I was trying to put in a stage lap. <laughs> Nick not going to announce the stage in because he needs to drive. That's understandable. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's going to be hard to even talk. I just so, don't want to let's make sure I didn't miss anything there. And understands people are going to try to save tires. So. Okay. All is good then, I think. On the highlight reel, too many times. Get on the grid. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. Close. Mid um, road is closed. All right, so we can go as much off track as we want. It's just if we get our own slow down, it's on us, right? Yes. Yep. Correct. As he described it. <laughs> I'm not going to be trying to get off track, though. So. A little bit better. Because I assume I'm going to wreck myself if I start trying to push boundaries that I'm not familiar with. But if it happens, at Good least, regular. that's okay. We'll have the dash up here, just in case I need to keep an eye on those temperatures. Gonna three. take it the easy off the start, of course. The track temp is 112. The air temp is 83 Fahrenheit. P8. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be an interesting one. We need to follow car number 09 in the left lane. Thankfully, we don't have to do an entire pace lap. I don't know why iRacing doesn't save us and uh, do this everywhere, but at least we have it here. Starting P8. You always got an even yeah, behind you, it's just a different one this time, uh, Gavin. <laughs> yeah, you may be in front of me after the first lap, depending on how off track I go here. It's gonna be tough for everybody. Pull, uh, lap a I really lap don't know what to expect from this race. Qualifying, so I'm fed. I'm going backwards. I guess one thing I can't expect yeah, is that Scott's gonna be Hopefully freaking fast out of the 260. Right lap there, Alan. That makes some good content. Okay. It's like we can probably get on I mean, the. I just feels like if you barely like spin like, the tires the tire once, they're, they're so, so hot, hot that, that you can't, can't even keep it straight. straight. Yeah, that's tough. It's very slippery. Yeah, like after the first lap, the tires are just cooked for the rest of the race. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. About to go green. Glad it's not just me. I feel like I'm on ice cubes after the first three corners. All right, watching Scott on the inside. 
See when he decides to go. And we are off. Getting the field spread out, that's probably a good idea. Alright, survive turn one, that's... <laughs> That was our first goal, I guess. Won't run over anybody ahead. Make sure we hit our marks. Long race, of course, so we don't need to do anything crazy anytime soon. Oh gosh, guy had maybe overcooked it a sec. Got some space around us, I like that. Too wide ahead, though. Got confused about my breaking point. That's okay, though. Okay. I had kind of like slamming on his brakes. But fine. Clear. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Clear. Pass. Well, that was not easy. I'm going to actually be very careful through this section. I think this is a spot where you can really light up the rear tires. So I'm going to be very careful through here, even though I could push it a little harder. Almost gave myself a cutting there. That was pushing it a little bit. All right, lap one completed. We gained a spot. Kept it clean, that's good. Turned in a little early there. My favorite part of the course here, I love this like little S. It's pretty fun when you hit it right. I remember the stage they were what 1632 is that right <laughs> I think I already forgot what the stages are dang it oh well it's not like I'm gonna be able to make any particular moves anyway be patient I'm running in the back of anybody Oh, that counted as an off track? Oh, I mean, I. It's not a big deal. It doesn't mean anything here, but that seemed a little bit unreasonable. Kind of experimented there and like let myself go wide. That didn't really even seem to help at all, though. So 
I don't know, I'm just gonna continue hitting my marks as I normally would, I think. Has a good pitch back there, Shane. Oh, look at that. Might need to get around Ryan at some point. It's kind of tough because I'm kind of having to lift a little bit at certain points. And that means I don't get the run off, so tough to get around someone like that, but it's all right. Obviously we're not in a hurry. Okay, real slow through here. Pushed a little wide there, that sucked. Don't slide it so much. I remember, take it easy. Surprise, Scott. I see him in fourth up there. I thought he'd be running away. See, our oil tamp is up there in the orange. That's fine. It's only when it's red when it starts getting not good. Don't hit those turtles. They are absolute launch pads. <sighs> Can't be doing that. Track limits. That's a good spot to use some off track. Can definitely save some time doing that, I think. Sorry about 62, still pretty close behind. I think the 11 just yeah, had an issue. I see him falling pull. back. God. Just kind of getting stuck in certain corners. I'm gonna slam on the brakes instead of letting it just flow through. You can see the temperature is kind of going back and forth. It's still okay. Back in the green at the moment. That's what I found in my practice, so I hope that's the way it stays. Kind of just uh, maintaining, maintaining pace right now, it looks like. Maybe losing a little bit, if anything. Sorry, that's why I'm just playing. <laughs> 
No worries, I'm bad too. Gone out of track limits, keep it between the lines. Just ignoring the off tracks, I guess. It's a weird feeling, but. This is NAS trucks, we don't do off tracks. I almost did myself a self spin, but I guess that's fine. Still trying to be real good on the throttle, not spin the tires up. Who knows if I'm doing any good with that. But I'm trying to think about it. Oh my gosh. So easy into this corner. Throws me off every time. them up. I guess it's okay. It, it still feels so weird. It feels like I'm getting away with a crime. I haven't hit the brakes on exit. I hate it. It's not what you want to be doing. Yeah, sorry about all the contact, Brandon. Thanks, Kevin. No problem. Sorry, man. I'm just waiting right now. We got a pass down. I had to do it the actual road racing way that I don't like doing. But I was just wasting too much time. See, the 99 had an issue, I think. Seriously. The 51, you were blinking a little for me there. My spotter was freaking out. There's another pass. Alright, good stuff. Keep it moving. Easy through here. No need to slide it around. Gentle. I think we're in P5 now, aren't we? That's crazy. Two two passes in one lap. Now we can finally go through here how I like. Thank you. 
Uh oh. Slow car up ahead. I've never heard the <laughs> the crew chief say that before. You keep cutting. <laughs> Ooh, almost too much there. We're okay. A long way to go. Oh, hey, pal, I didn't know the S was turned into eyes. Amazing. If I already got 12x, that's already the it's limit. Over, right? What you would normally get. <laughs> in an official race, that's wild. And look, I'm getting more. I win. Watch the track limits. Kushi was just gonna keep telling me about the track limits the whole race, huh? It's okay, man. We're in NASCAR. The rules don't apply team. here. Start respecting the track limits. This sure is tough, though. Alex in the lead. Wow, fantastic run for him so far. He's feeling right at home, it seems like. They're pretty good. Been overdriving this, so I gotta be a little more conscious. Okay, that's a cutting. No? I got away with it? Okay. I thought for sure I cut that. Can't be doing that though, that's too much. That's a little too much. Not even trying to keep it on the track. <laughs> I'm gonna really enjoy just hearing all the different things I've never heard the crew chief say. Right, I'm not even trying to keep it on the track. Come on, pay attention. All right, we got we gotta have our comic relief. That's good for all this serious racing. Okay, don't do that. It's only getting slicker over time, that's for sure. I think the 99 is actually catching back up to us. Just fine. We're in a great spot. Ooh, almost got starts sliding to the left. Sorry, man. <laughs> I 
I cannot get my turn in right right there. That's the sharpest corner on the whole track, I think, though, so... I guess that kind of makes sense I'd have trouble with that. Very difficult in one of these trucks. This lap will be deleted. Yeah, yeah, you sure? Keep telling yourself that. I'm going wide. Ew, that was terrible. I lost a ton of time doing that. That was a little bit of wheel hop. I gotta be careful. I end up wrecking myself. I forget what lap Nick said, that uh, cautions were going to start being a possibility. Um, they weren't going to always be a possibility from the very beginning of the race, but rather once we get past something like uh, lap 14 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what number he gave, but we'll just have to react to that when it happens. There's no other way to really go about it anyway. We could very well get no cautions at all. That's cutting. Oh my god, it's not a cutting. Should be. I feel like I deserved it there. I keep thinking I'm going too far wide, and then I end up going too far in. Just can't get it right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Go left. Thank you, Mike. Go left. Oh, Alex was having such a good run, too. That sucks, man. Looks like uh, Scott just locked him up while racing against him. Hate that. I mean, it works out for us, though. We are now uh, on the podium, at least for now. Is Cabe even here? You're now in third, Rick. I just now realize Cabe's not even here. What am I doing? P not paying attention to the road, that's for sure. So those guys are faster than me, I think, so... When they, they catch me, I'm probably just going to have to let them go again. They didn't lose much time at all. Uh-oh. Okay, getting a little bit sideways. Easy now. Missing my marks a little bit. Got to get refocused. Thinking about other people too much. There you go. That's more what you're supposed to do in that corner. So Scott gets away with it. Alex does not, I guess. Scott's still right behind us. Alex is no longer in the top six, at least, so that sucks.
I feel like that. I don't even know if going wide like that even made me faster. Like I'm trying Damn, to. Damn, Nick must have got damaged in that yeah, little incident. Yeah, it sucked. Oh no, there must have been some crash back there that Nick got into. He's also pretty high up in the championship standings. I want to say like third even. Maybe you should throw out a caution. <laughs> Behind me, so. This could end up being a good points day for us if we can keep this thing on track. I think I'd like a red flag. <laughs> red flag. Can we get like a rain short and great? I'm having fun. I never, I would never dare say this out loud, but I kind of like this place. <laughs> I really like this challenge. Everybody hates this place, and I'm like just sitting there quietly, like not trying to be the contrarian. Oh god, no, 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 no. I hate this place. This place is the worst. <laughs> uh, anyway, like I was saying, this place sucks. I'm just kidding. No, I actually really like this place. It's very challenging. Um, but. I don't know, it, it was really fun to learn when I kind of uh, started learning it, I want to say like last year when I bought the track, for the truck, specifically. So, I guess I'm just the guy that likes all the tracks everyone hates, like I like Texas too. <laughs> and I don't want to just sound like the contrarian, so I don't, I'm not just going to stop saying things. <laughs> it's wide. That, I, that's not good, I mean I definitely overdid that one kind of just went with it when I realized I was going to be wide, but I don't think that was actually fast. Maybe he just had a moment. moment. He's starting, He's starting to, catch to catch up with me. me. Yeah, hopefully he's not hurt too bad. What am I doing? Keeping, taking my eyes off the road for too long and miss my marks. Okay, engine temperatures are fine. I'm glad that ended up working out because part of me was like, man, I'm going to blow up later. I'm totally wrong about how these engine temps are going to develop, but no, I think we're okay. Really short shifting a lot to second gear now because of tire spin. Don't hit it. <laughs> I almost hit it again. Those turtles, man, are evil. Evil turtles. Okay. They're there pretty good. Looseness, we're fine. We gained some time on Scott. He might have had a moment, a loose moment or something. Billy out there in the lead, that makes sense. He was always super fast during season two of the K5 Championship on the road. So that's not all too surprising. Yeah, I just drifted through the corner, that's good. <laughs> hey. 
I wish I remembered what the stages were. I literally looked at them. I think maybe it was 16 and 24? Again, it doesn't really matter. It's not like... Oh, oh. Easy. Sliding through the corner. Uh, it's not like uh, Daytona where you have to like plan a run or decide when you want to start trying to make moves and stuff. Like, We're just trying to be fast all the time. So wherever we end up getting is going to be wherever I'm running at the time. That's all. That's all good and fine. That was terrible. Alright, at least we survived. God, that sucks. One mistake and I'm behind three people now. Freaking turtles, man. So we got about six laps of fuel, it looks like. All right. Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are now back to normal. That was some serious tire spin. That did not feel good. Okay, take it easy. Don't need any more mistakes. You got a slow car on the left. Okay, we got lap traffic. Just confused for a second. Left side. Clear. Nah, I'm just fine, alright. Alright, yeah, about six laps of fuel. Sixth place. That stinks that I at least couldn't hold on to third uh, until... First stage ended. Lucky I held on to it. Obviously the truck really does not like hitting giant speed bumps at 80 miles an hour. Imagine going over highway speed and hitting a speed bump. Probably doesn't feel too good. Thankfully nothing breaks on the, on the truck. Well, temperature's just fine. Crew Chief's gonna keep warning me about it, though. Gaining lots of time all of a sudden. They're kind of stacked up on each other, I think.
All right. Kind of caught up a little bit, maybe. Back to this group. Kind of fighting for position a little bit, maybe. Or at least uh, adjusting their lines based on where the others are. I kind of caught him for a second, and then I kind of had a bad exit right there. Got a little bit of tire spam. I wonder how much draft actually makes a difference here. This is a pretty decently long straightaway. Well, uh, we took that entry a lot <laughs> harder than they did. Gavin, you have to pit before the next stage, right? Uh, I think you just pit when you need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna run the thing dry every time. I still have to pit, though, yeah. 24, 36, I don't know I'm when this is going to be. Make it past no, I, I only have like four laps left, I think. You're making me hit the brakes harder than I want to. Almost made me lock up the tires there. 43, X. Take it here. Oh. Thank you. Okay, Colton. I tried to short pit the guy with the front, so I was curious. It could work. They're fighting up there. Everyone's kind of bunched up together. Right side, clear on the right. It's really stuck right now. It's all my fault for getting uh, making a mistake, of course. Right side, clear on the right. How many laps we got? Three, about three before we have to pit. All right. Uh, 
Thanks, John. Oh my god, I almost hit that turtle again. I've always had that problem at, at Circuit of the Americas. I always do that. Hit that darn freaking turtle there. We got room behind at least. I think these guys are just as fast as I am, or maybe even faster. It's just they kind of were stuck on each other for a little bit. That's all it was. Yep, meant to do that. That was totally cool. I'm sorry, I did not see you, but... Yeah, maybe this is about where I'm at. About sixth place. Might be about where my speed is. If not less, because people that got wrecked. Yeah, they're pulling away now, I think. It's okay. Wheel hop. I'm be careful. You got about two laps of fuel left. Two laps of fuel left. We're gonna have to come in. I think everybody's just gonna be coming in about the same time. So maybe we come in this lap so there's not any like traffic jam. That might be a good idea. Maybe I'll come in right now. Why didn't I practice a uh, pit stop? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, and we're losing time right now anyway, so I think that makes sense. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 15 All right. miles per hour. Activate limiter. Yeah, limiter. Good joke. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Oop, almost overdrove it. That makes sense. Got a little bit of damage, probably from hitting, hitting friggin' turtles. We're not gonna. We're not gonna uh, do anything about that though. Oh my gosh, I can hit the throttle again.
Oh my goodness. I feel like a rocket ship again. We're not going to make it to the end. 32.9 gallons. Friggin' calc fuel calculator's not going to be any use to me, but... We could, we still could get a, f uh, a yellow, of course. Maybe I start keeping it in second gear for a while, though. I had the idea to come a lap early because I figured they might uh, end up traffic jam on entry. But I might have just screwed myself out of making it to the end on fuel. Uh oh. If I keep in second gear, yeah, that was pretty slow. <laughs> Not doing that again. I might end up regretting my decision. I wish I had noticed that the fuel is going to be that close. It's just so many things to think about, man. The gap behind has increased to 6.5 seconds. No one would be able to overtake anybody here. Oh yeah, definitely. wherever everybody else is like on incidents and stuff I can't be the only one that's like probably gonna hit a hundred by the end of this one right Ryan Thompson went on lap 15. Very interesting. He definitely can't make it to the end. I'm probably not going to make it. He's definitely not making it. You go way wide there, making room for me. I appreciate that. If that was intentional. Doing the math, um, sure on yellow flag odds, there's a more likely Hello. chance than not that we do get at least one caution during this race. So even if I can't make it to the end, the odds are still in my favor that we get a caution. The number one of Scott on pit road. I'm going to overtake him. James will move to the left for us. Thank you. Oh, I almost hit the turtle. <laughs> it's every lap with that. Never fails.
Feeling pretty good. We got five seconds back to Scott back there. He went two laps longer than I did. I think the biggest concern at this point has to be can we make it to the end if it stays green the whole time? Thanks, John. Did get the turn in there. That was not good. This thing feels like such a rocket ship now that I've got grip again. It's amazing. Oh no! I didn't realize that could happen. That's all right. We'll just uh, ease onto the throttle. Save some fuel. Be good on the tires. That's fine. That worked out just fine. That's the first one of those. Hopefully the first and last. Don't need to be making a habit out of that. I'm glad I know that now. So that's not a move I try like on the last lap or something. So I guess we're in fourth right now? We had a couple of guys ahead that pit. Or no, one person ahead that pit earlier. Ryan Carwile, I think, was the leader. And still got out way ahead. He's super fast, so that makes sense. I never feel like I take that corner right, those sets of corners. I feel like I'm doing that all wrong. <laughs> Probably am. Very awkward <laughs> way I take that. <laughs> Probably not right. Got about 16 miles of fuel. Now that's not going to be enough. Tilly was not trying to catch him right there. I don't think this is a place you want to try to pass or anything. It's really slow. That makes sense because he's pit, he pit much earlier. So it's understandable. We gotta make a pass here, I think. Eh, well, maybe not. He's getting a good runoff. And plus we have a lap truck on the inside up there.
Car right. Clear on the right. Car right. Stay on the left. Clear. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. I figured it out. Oh, this is fun. I, I actually really enjoy Coda. <laughs> I feel like everyone else is probably miserable. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Shane coming up. He's a lap down or more. He's wide. Kind of hard to tell where he's gonna be. Oh my god. Car on your left. <laughs> Clear on the left. Got to try and take this spot on the back. <laughs> Everything worked out in the end. We're good. Third place right now. Scott's catching us. He's two seconds back. And we don't have enough fuel. So that's bad. But. I'm gonna do about this fuel situation like I don't know how much I would need to save if I need to save so it's hard to like plan for that I'm not even really close anymore that kind of sucks maybe we were never gonna be close maybe nobody can single stop it well I'm thinking about that Nearly overdriving turn one. I gotta get past him before this. You're gonna be stuck way too long otherwise. Fortunately, having to enter on the left side kind of messed with me, but we're fine. It feels pretty good. I think what we might do... No, you know what? Whenever we took the full tank of fuel last time... Ah, we don't need a full tank of fuel, though. How much fuel will we need? I wish my fuel calculator worked. I really gotta get a new one that works for elite races.
Wish I could do the math, too. Maybe I call in a crew chief <laughs> to do some math for me. Cautions? Yeah, there's gonna should be a random one sometime between now and lap 37. There's also the chance we get none though. This is terrible. I'm falling asleep. How can you fall? So I'm freaking out, man. I'm running, running next. next. So he'll probably have to throw a caution so he can get new tires. This is a constant battle for me to keep this thing on the track. I don't know how anyone could fall asleep. Maybe it's just easier for some people. I'm over here struggling. Who's in the lead again? It was Ryan Carwile, right? Oh no, right, Billy is way out there. He's so far out there we never even seen him during the pit cycle. Though, right? That's right. A bit hard in there, that's okay, we caught it. not a very good way to take that turn. Too shallow. Catch the 90 in a good spot, thankfully. 12 laps. We're gonna be a couple laps short. We're just gonna splash and go, I think. I just don't know how much of a splash we need. That's the problem. It's hard to set that up right now. Of course, we could still. Whoa, almost hit the turtle. We could still get that caution. I'm kind of hoping we don't get maybe? Because I don't know if anyone can actually make it to the end. No, people can. They went 22 laps, so of course they can. The captain tops behind us now. I think I do want that caution. I got six seconds both in front of and behind us for position. Shift earlier, maybe save some fuel. Car right. Clear on the right. Up. Alex Aziz has been doing really well in the championship standings as well. He's back in 22nd. But he is at least here because Cabe is not here. Which kind of stinks. I'd rather uh, have a good battle with him. Being that he's able to make all the races. 
in the championship standings rather than he just can't make it. So then I feel like I'm not competing against uh, everyone at a fair, even level playing field, right? A little bit too hard. We're okay. To get on the brakes a little bit harder, and I actually overdid it, so we're fine. Ooh, a little slidey. I actually gained on uh, Carwile up ahead, somehow. Not sure how that happened, because he's been much faster this whole race. Oh, we got auto fuel. Pay attention to the road, you idiot. That's why it sucks. I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what I need to do for later. I just don't have the time. That's the longest straightaway on the whole freaking track. And I ran out of time almost and nearly crashed myself. Well, if we can't make it to the end, do we do some sort of strategy? No, I think the strategy is just... No tires at the end, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean if I'm in pit road right now? You win. You win. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Probably. Well. If Tom made a wreck a two car by, who's the two car? That would be me. I'm not sure how far behind me you are, but... Yeah, we gotta catch up to them up there. Is it saying that for you too, Gavin? Saying what? Alright, we're good. Guys, yeah, we gotta catch up to the pace car. No. no. Say again, you got cut off there. Uh, is this telling you to let the two car by? So we are P3? No, it's telling no, me to catch the 90. 90. Well, maybe I got screwed, I don't know. I hope not. Stupid pit road glitches right now are pretty dumb. Yeah, because I mean, I timed it perfectly. Yeah, I Didn't Nick say something about, down. like, moving lap cars to the back or something? So not to worry yeah, about. Do you know where you're at on the track? I just got to turn one. Alright, that's not too far. Oh, I just hope it's not putting me in last, but I think it is. That sucks. Hmm. 
Graham Thompson might have just gotten uh, a bad glitch. But if everyone has to fit, then I might be alright, I don't know. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Yeah, at least you're not a lap down either. Hey, we'll get this all sorted out. Come on, Nick, fix it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So I've got some tires to take, which Wait, we will. Bit, bit. Yeah, he yeah, did. So we're gonna have a competition of who has the most exits at the end of the road. I'm up to thirty four. I think I'm at forty two. <laughs> yeah, I got thirty four too. I'm at 78. <laughs> I'm only at 20, 20, but I'm, I'm, I'm going, going to get groceries. Okay. <laughs> oh, Scott's yeah, at yeah, 12. Man, I must not be trying hard enough. There must be a fine line there, because I'm back here in the back and I got 84. I feel like I'm getting away with a crime with how many off tracks I'm getting away with. I'm just too worried to push it too hard. There's no grip anywhere. Yeah, I'm getting mine. I'm not even pushing it. I'm just going wide. Getting a little off track here and there. A couple every lap. Who could have uh, made it on fuel? I could have made it on fuel. The yellow flag screwed me. He's telling me to take my stop back, but I don't remember where I was. Uh -oh. I think you were ahead of me, Dan. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, position are you in? Anyway? I'm, I'm in, in uh, ninth, ninth, right? right. Or, <laughs> that's me. Huh. Thankfully, this is all getting sorted out. Well, I hope I can catch up. Guess it's a good thing these pace laps are so long, so we can sort this out. So P3, I'm feeling pretty I'm good about to that. My fucking tires. Yeah, he just got new tires, that's true. Yeah, yeah I'm really on the back. I'm gonna have to push it harder, I've only got 9x. 9x. <laughs> You're right in front of me with nine, and I have 73. For sure. <laughs> There's certain spots on the track where it really feels like you can uh, gain some time Although taking a small track. Pushing it hard doesn't help when you don't have the skill to make anything out of it. I'm getting X's on the pace lap, so you can, you can all you catch up to doing that. that. <laughs> I just... Everyone's got low X's. I just did that, too. <laughs> I got it off track. I've only oh, got yeah. third. Uh, watch out here, we might... It's gonna be a tough pit road entrance. Pit road's open. Yeah, be careful not to pass anybody on the outside. The gap to Carwile. Lap four is good. Nick uh, didn't, he thought that was going to be a mess, but he, he told me if I had to lap down, don't pit, so I don't know, it's a mess. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm not pitting. Engage the limiter. That should be good, I think. Looked up there. Hey, Alan, you win the pits, right? I am. Two, one. What? How did he get it? Carwile is leading the race. Alright. <laughs> Get some fresh tires, put the fuel the, uh, in this thing. Up. Maybe. Plenty of fuel, we're good. Move it, move it. Yeah, I did. I got the push game for it. Yeah, I had it on my screen. It's like we'll be exiting about the same spot. I mean, 
we should be getting a wave around, right? For not hitting? Yeah, either way, we'll put the wave around. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be... I don't reply on the keyboard to whoever, like, if Nick's messaging me. Everyone's trying to tell him at once. I, I don't think he'll see it anyway. Okay, so um, he's just telling me that I don't need to reply, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I forgot about that. He has chat turned off. Some weird trying. things happen in the story. You know, there's no difference between the, uh, this speed and my rate speed. You know, there's not a lot of difference. I'll tell you. <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a sprint to the end. I don't know if I'm going to be as good short run. I'm going to give it my best, but... So do y'all think Nick will extend the caution by one lap and let the black cars catch up with the way we're at? You might need to. Oh. I hope so. Yeah, it says two to green. I'm just I'm not just sure why it told me to pass all the lap cars and then told me to stay behind you, Brandon. Did you stay out? Well, I was on pit road when the cars came out. Maybe it's your lucky day. That it is, but I don't know why the lap cars behind me, would, they would have made me pass them. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I mean, we should, should all be getting a wave around here in a sec, so... Yeah, yeah, but I'm not really sure what's going on. There's been a bit of a, like, a, a Maybe bug. Maybe since I said I screwed up the wave around. It kind of looks like this. I don't know. Hmm. Could be. It's the way it looks more relative, anyway. Well, uh, I don't remember when the <laughs> stage cautions end, so there's a last minute decision but I know we've been in the top ten the like whole race, year. so we will get points for the stages. Same here. Hopefully some good ones. Hopefully uh, I was sitting in I third at some point. Up. You actually just reminded me I have a drink to finish, although oh, now all the ice is melted. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to get some Gatorade. I take a drink on every time I'm on the backstretch. I needed that. This is a workout. I'm glad they reminded me. My right shin started cramping up on lap five. Oh no. Oh, I feel you with the leg cramps. I've been drinking water. My right leg is cramping and my left foot hurts like hell. <laughs> you guys gotta be smooth. I just have to be younger. I'm falling apart. <laughs> just be younger. One left to it's so hard. Up on the right All right, side. so what's happening here? These lap cars and stuff. Oh no! Oh, no double power restart. Good to go. This time by. Be full. Wait, but just let the pace go by. Did I fuck up, or am I supposed to keep going? Uh, you'll get black flag, but I uh, mean, the uh, leader uh, was like halfway in between the uh, lap cars, so. Oh, do I have to stay behind him if I was behind him then? Front is Roberts. Hmm. Because a lot of you guys are behind Ryan. Okay, that's what I thought, or that's what I'm on. That sucks. All right, I'm being pinched. Look out. I mean, if you guys thought you should have had the wave around, just go around. How was he determining cautions again? Did he say something about drawing a deck of cards? Yeah, Nick said he just had uh, two jokers and a deck of cards, and he was going to... Yeah, I think he said he was uh, dropping, uh, or he was drawing a card and discarding it. Keep it up. For, like, every lap between, I think it was, like, 
for now, like 5 and 37, I think he said. I think if you were supposed to get wave around, you should have just went around and then he cleared it because of Ryan's glitch there. What a mess. What was the glitch? So Ryan's in a great I spot. I don't think it's a glitch. I think the fact that I got to stay out means you don't get a wave around. Maybe. I really don't know. <laughs> I think he just he didn't hit. Wave around. Kind of messed and things up. up. Yeah, I want my wrist. Nick don't yeah, always clear black flags. I just want my wrist. Yeah, I figured I'd just drop back anyway. I mean, it'd be different if I was competing yeah, or whatever, like but I'm slow, so <laughs> it ain't that big deal. Don't, don't, don't stop on the track. track. I don't I think don't it'll think trigger it, but it could trigger another yellow flag. Okay, I'll just keep going real slow then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a mess. What it a mess. I already triggered it. I think everything's kind of sorting out the way it's supposed to, though. I know an oval that'll do it. Should be okay. You got plenty of time to get to the back of there. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get going in pretty here pretty for? soon here. Uh, at the end of the long straightaway. Uh, Frank, I think I'm supposed to be in front of here. Sorry about that, man. Thanks. All right, we'll be starting off P4, Ryan in the lead right there. Uh, Ryan Thompson, I should say, because there's two Ryans. He's going to have two lap older tires, which isn't significant. In fact, they're basically new because he was on pit road, so he's basically got new tires. He just pit at the perfect time. But we luck out because I was going to have to pit again under green. So I kind of needed that, I think. Just see how good we are on short run pace. Hopefully we uh, all keep it clean into turn one. We're going to have what? Nine laps to go? I believe. No. Not very much longer in this thing. Get ready. Going green. Post <clears throat> car is off. Time to do your job. Now yeah, we're off. All right. Green, green, green. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. Inside. The next car's the leader. Keep to the right. You're on the right. Three wide. Car on your left. Two wide. Clear on the left. All right, Colton. The next car is Thompson. Car right. Clear. Got to get past him. I know he doesn't get through here as well. Billy up there in the lead, but got a little bit loose there for a second. Okay, P3. Billy and Ryan gonna be up there battling for the win. We saw some defensive line from Billy early on. Oh, this is intense. T 
Take it easy, don't crash yourself. Sliding on the cold tires. Oh, Ryan spun, that sucks. That really sucks for him. I felt it too, these cold tires tried to kill me. Okay, we got Matthias behind us. Two guys ahead of us. Oh, wheel hop, look out. Turn that wheel. It's easy. Don't wreck yourself. Gotta keep reminding myself. Not to crash the darn thing. Okay, I got about a second behind. Whoa, Billy got loose. In a weird spot, too. I don't have anything for these top two guys, I don't think. I just can't wreck myself thinking that I do. Be consistent. Maybe they'll battle each other later and I'll have a chance. But I gotta be here for there to be a chance. Keep an eye on the oil temperature. It's creeping up. Don't spin. Holy shnikes. Boy, this is this is so difficult. This is intense. I know I'm not really providing much better commentary than that, but that's kind of just what's happening in my life right now. Oh boy. Okay, we got... I'm really having to work hard to keep in front of uh, the 99 back there. He's holding strong, so I really can't ease up. Even if the guys ahead still continue to pull away. I understand how I'm on ice already. Gosh. Really working the wheel here.
Okay, we are in lap 37. That means we have six to go. Kyle, you were blinking hard there. Oh, got blinkers. Sorry, man, that was a little deep. Oh, that's no problem. No problem. I was wondering when you were going to capitalize on the amount of mistakes I was making. Oh, I got there. They got really good. Yeah, I'm just trying to hang on. Hey, hands hurt, man. Got a little bit of distance behind us. Not much, but a little bit. I'm actually catching up to Carwile here a little bit. These are easily the best laps I've ever hit. Matthias is right behind us though. He's hitting some great laps too. Glad I changed the gearing for that part right there. That's the part that I changed the gearing for, so I didn't have to shift to third. I like keeping it in second gear through there. P3. Wasting a lot of time here. Get your elbows out and force the pass. Wasting a lot of time? No, I'm not. Fruit Chief. What did I tell you? Leave me alone. Let me work. Let me cook. <laughs> I can use the draft. I'm not going to bother with that. I don't know if that's going to even really do much. I've never driven into that corner. Oh, feeling a little bit sideways. Easy on it, easy on it. Don't light up the rears. Get over excited. I think I pulled my desk about halfway across the room. Yanking at my steering wheel. Don't be doing that now.
Oh my god, I almost hit the turtle. I did actually, I just barely clipped it. Technically that's all I did. We're right on them for a minute, then we kind of lost ground. Oh, I think Billy had a bad exit there. I think Carwile's catching him. Bad place to have a mistake with a huge straightaway upcoming. Will he send it on him? No, not yet. on my tires, that's all I did there. Really heated them up right before this section where I really need them. He's catching us from behind. I just, I, I'm not as good as those guys. I'm trying everything I can. I'm hitting laps I shouldn't be hitting. And it's still not enough. I shifted down too early. That was really scary. I might not be able to hold on to a third. Tyus is right behind me. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that. I drove in hard trying to defend it, and there's nothing. Gap 
I think I tore up my rear tires too much. Yeah, I better just try to hold on to fourth at this point, I think. It's good to see Alex back there still after he had got uh, dunked earlier. Still having a great run. I had a wider entry right there. That did not work, though. I better just hold on to fourth. I'm pretty much, I'm clearly losing it, and we only have one lap coming up, so I better just keep this thing together. I think I got enough room to spare behind. That should be okay. Go. 105 incidents. Alex is on his way. I, I can't let off too much here. I know he's three seconds back, but it looks like he gained a ton. Ooh. Wouldn't be a... God, that inside was so slippery. Wouldn't be a lap around here if I didn't hit the turtles at least once. He's at home with a P4. I will be so happy with that if I can finish this off. Oh my gosh, they're side by side up ahead. Shane, I never thought I'd see that. Wow. We've got a race to the finish here. I thought there was no way he'd catch him. wide. Adrenaline's going too hard. <laughs> watching them battle, I'm driving in way too hard. I've been watching one hell of a battle for 11 to my mirror. Damn, I just uh, overcooked it into that corner. I'm, I'm absolutely losing it right now. I just need to get this thing home. I can't believe Carwile just passed Billy for the win. It's not over yet. Wow, wow, wow. That was crazy last lap pass right there. Hundred and eight. We're gonna finish off with a hundred and eight incidents. And a P four. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good, good job. job. Very good job. Yeah, good race. That was fun there. Good race. Good win. That was a really exciting finish. It was a pretty good pretty race. Good I actually didn't hate it that much. <laughs> <laughs> I secretly like this place, but I was afraid to say it. <laughs> Billy did not get the win. Damn it, Nick got me uh, yeah, on the last lap. lap. Yeah, that yeah, only guy was totally worth the second, so. It's a great it's run, 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 Good race, Tyler. Good race, Tyler. <laughs> Alex didn't even know. He's a good win, Billy. <laughs> I 
That was amazing. 92.89, I just roasted the rears. Oh my God, I'm glad that is over. Well, the video is going to be good of uh, Nick and Mai's battle at the end with uh, Ryan in there. It was uh, there was several changes. Yeah, good job, Alan. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I just so mad at myself that I overtook that last corner. Yep, that's on one turn. Oh well, uh, not needing is what I meant to say, but laps, yeah, it was great um, not needing to worry about off tracks and. Go for it. Yeah, same here. I mean, I spun it in third. That's why I got back with you guys, but I think it was totally worth it. Scott wins <laughs> incidents. I ran out of gas when I was to finish. 163. Oh, my God. Oh, good. Big winner. 163. Go ahead, Scott. I got the same amount as Nick. That's funny. Wait, how can you guys see that? <laughs> Under the entries tab. Yeah, entries list. Oh my god. Yeah, I was under results. Well, I had 130. Yeah, I thought I did pretty good with my 112, but that was a couple of 130. <laughs> and I was 63. 14 for me, but I'm slow. And I was afraid to go off my rack at all. <laughs> So, oh, wow, Billy with uh, eight incidents. Go, like, clear out, like, and not get a um, slowdown. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. Billy with only eight, and he nearly wins the thing. Well, I'm just happy I finished the race in one piece. I downloaded the track about 30 minutes before the session started. That was excellent. That was actually so incredibly fun. I enjoyed that, that was, so much more uh, than I thought I would. a lot better race than I thought it was going to be. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm just I'm really just sweating like no other. Yeah. That was a workout. Alex said he did that he race with a six shift manual gear. gear. That's amazing. Yeah, he did I excellently too. I keep saying excellent, but I'm just oh, very a, happy with how that went. That. It right. really makes it so much more fun for me. I don't know if incidents are going to work for this. Well, I'm cramping. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure. Well, uh, I mean, that's got uh, a stick shift, and that's enough house for me. Fastest lap was a 196? Yeah, and I'm not good at Wait, it. That's not right. Oh, it's because off tracks. Okay. 16.9, 16.5. <laughs> Look at these laps off the start I was running in the 20s. And then the second run, like, I just started running way faster than I ever should have been. I can't believe I didn't crash myself. Average of a 60 incidents per driver. So explaining to Kyle since he couldn't hear uh, all that kerfuffle <laughs> during uh, the caution. Good. Uh, that'll get explained to him because he was affected by that. So lap one. Got someone off track here. Happened. Maybe just overdrove it, it looks like, and then he waits to get back on, on track. That was very kind of him to be safe like that. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to look at incidents necessarily. Oh my god, Wesley. Oh my god, Wesley. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are going to be able to see some things. So, lap one. He just... Way overdrives it. Really bad. And then, unfortunately, James was there. I believe that's James in the 04. Come on, let me see. There it is. Yeah. 
That sucks. Bad, bad luck there. Wrong place, wrong time. Oh my goodness, we got some more. <laughs> this guy's coming to the corner. Heading straight. 31 just kind of misses it. Thankfully, just a tap. Oh my god, three wide. Oh my god, bouncing off each other. That was a weird situation. How did that end up happening? So yeah, Joe on the outside. Gavin just trying to take it easy lap one, I think, and then guys trying to pass on on both sides. Oh no, Gavin, on the cold tires. Something about those cold tires in that corner specifically is so dangerous. And I think part of the reason is because you've got a ton of grip everywhere else. And then you head into this corner on your new fresh tires and you're like, all right, it'll grip up just fine. And then that, it just, it snaps on you. I got so close to doing that multiple times in the race. Thankfully he got that out of the way. Hopefully, did he finish okay? Come on. Yeah, look at that, top 10. Great finish for Gavin still, so. Get it out of the way early, I suppose. James maybe just gets on the throttle a little bit much. Sends it around. Oh boy, these incidents are going to take a year and a half. I guess not. I mean, it's only a 42 lap race, so even though we're only on lap 4 right now. Oh no. So what happened here? Joe behind Alan. Well, maybe just kind of like isn't getting it to stick very well, and then they kind of stack up. I don't think there was too much serious damage, just a ton of lost time for, for a couple people. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Drifting through the corner. Snap on exit for Frank. I'm gonna let five. This is for the lead at this time. Frank kind of gets in the back of Alex there. That's Alex, right? Yes, it is. Alex lets him elapse early on. I think he eventually gets taken out by, uh, I think it was Scott that got him. Ooh. There's those, uh, there are the turtles. At least it's not just me hitting those darn things. The fastest way to just cut it as close as possible, and then if you accidentally hit them, then not great. Just a bit of a stack up there. That guy's waiting on each other. Nick behind his dad. Oh my god, he absolutely destroys that turtle. Some blinking right here. Ah, uh, Joe not able to save it after getting the turtles. Okay, so it looks like it's happening to a lot of people. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to save mine, because that easily could have been much worse for me. I lost three spots the one time I did it really bad, which was not good, but it kind of worked out in the end with the caution and everything later. And in the back of the Wendy's car. We got some more, yep, launch pad. Very easy to do. Here's where Alex gets taken out. Yeah, just Scott just way overdrives through that part. Alex even left him room. Yeah, that was... Uh, a bit of an odd attempt. Unfortunately, very bad for Alex. 11 loops it. Oh no, and the 50 stuck behind him. Oh gosh, I heard a crunch. It was Nick. He just has no idea that's there, I don't think. 
let's see what that looks like from his cockpit. So he, he may not even have seen that happen. Because this isn't exactly what he's seeing, but he comes around the corner and sees that, and you know he's probably trying to turn real hard. I'm sure you can see his wheel here. It's going to go real far to the right. Trying to get around it, but just not quite able to clear it. Get some... A decent chunk of damage there. Eleven on the gas a little hard. He was doing pretty well too, that's too bad. Kyle back here. Whoa, launch pad. <laughs> There's me, this is gonna be my really bad one, I think. I really had to wheel that thing to make sure it didn't spin. Look at, look at my wheel. That's so funny. Whoa, all the way, all the way, all the way back. <laughs> and then it just stunk. I had to wait. I didn't want to pull out in front of anybody. I could have like more aggressively gotten back on track, and they probably would have left the room, but I'm not going to get back on track and wreck somebody because of my mistake. Just try to enter the uh, re-enter the track as parallel as possible to the driving line. More on throttle spinning. It's crazy how that hitting that curb it looks so similar for so many different people. Just hitting it in the exact wrong way. Ryan Thompson going in, <laughs> getting a little bit of wall, but nothing there. He was doing his uh, early kind of pit thing. He might have been thinking about a two-stopper, which would have been a really interesting, I think, had it gone green all the way. I'm glad it didn't go green all the way, though, because I was going to be in bad shape. Chain spinning it, getting it out of the way, though. M18, the 11, overdrives it and really gets on the brakes, making sure he doesn't hit anybody. That's about as well as I think that could have gone, actually. Uh oh, never mind. Hmm. Someone left their chewing gum on the wall and he got stuck to it, too. I don't think, uh, I just, Nick King had no idea he was there, I don't think. Because he sees the spin right here. I don't think anyone could have expected him to get it going that quick. I think he's expecting him still to be spun back there, and so he's just preparing to go to the next corner, and he has no idea he's there. I feel like I remember him hearing him say something on the mic, too, saying, like, I'm sorry, I didn't even know you were there. That probably is what that was. Some more airtime for Kyle. He gets both of them. Doesn't spin, though. 50, holding on to it, trying his best. It's kind of cool. That I like that green, like, camping kind of looking truck. I like that. He's even got, like, the green uh, tires. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's blinking. King trying to gas it up. A little too much. Spins. Gonna go a little bit faster, I think, because we're just seeing a bunch of spins, which is more than understandable. Ooh. There. Everyone's kind of spread out a little bit more at this point, so when people do spin, at the very least, uh, it seems like they're single car incidents. Uh, Scott's got to keep that parked there if he's going to spin like that. So he just drives right into the path of Frank there, trying to get it going too soon. I don't know why I'm expecting anything else except for blinking from there. 90. Losing the handle. Oh no, Shane, oh! Keep it out of that wall, no! Get some damage. 
or spin. Uh oh. Figure that out. Pace car's getting incidents apparently. But this is when the caution comes out, which is interesting. Came on lap 30 ish. Where's Gavin getting his off tracks during the caution? Is James calling it quits? Is that an accident? I don't know. That looked kind of strange. Oh, you know what? He probably was doing something like what I was trying to do before. Like, <laughs> check the fuel because we're about to come in for pit stops. Probably looking at that and then just looks away for a little bit too long. That's my best guess for what happened there. <laughs> and then I do. Very interesting way to take turn one. How did Nick's dad, fin dad finish? He's 12th right now, getting the little bumper. P13, very nice showing for Alan. Did he beat Nick? Ah, uh, one spot behind him. <laughs> Nick was saying that uh, he thinks this will be the race that his dad would, would finish ahead of him. It was close, that's for sure. Oh, that was almost a great save for Joe there, and then it unfortunately just kind of went a second time. So he catches it for a second. That looked really good, and then, oh, uh, just couldn't hop onto it. And that's some pretty serious damage. Get a good view of that good looking 50 truck. Chain running into some issues again. Kyle into turn one. What's happening? Just a blink. I think I heard someone mention Kyle was blinking, maybe. Unless there was a different Kyle blinking. Ooh. Frank looks like he's a lap down at this point. He just must not have known he was there. He takes out Robert there. That stinks. Blinking, I assume. Oh no, Gavin with a spin. It's like he should be able to get that going pretty quick though. Like it never happened. Just added an extra turn to uh, this track, because this track didn't have enough turns already. Some turtles, truck on turtle violence, and so on. Eight, not able to hold on to it. It just kind of overdrives it there. Is everyone able to get by safely? Looks like it. Ooh. Big hit there. Able to hold on to it, though. Oh, man. That looks like he forgot where he was on the track. Like, that's a serious overdrive. It's here. Yeah, the breaking point way late on that. Let's see, where are we? We're on the sharp corner right here. Yeah, normally I'm breaking... More like right here. He's breaking right here. It's way too hard in there. I mean, we, when you're doing 40 laps, like, the f road racing fatigue sets in. 51 into the wall. Some blinking. And then the uh, race is over, and, uh, Gavin's just going to go explore the track or something. <laughs> He's over there. I think that's where they park if they win the race. Maybe. I don't remember. Got to look into the forward to the real life races this week at Coda. They're going to be pretty good. But that'll do it. Ryan gets the win after a last lap pass. I kind of want to take a look at that just real quick. Like, he's a good, I don't know, six truck lengths back? Coming in to the white flag, I thought there was no chance he'd catch him, and it sounded like Billy uh, must have missed a shift. Said it was like the first time all race he did it. Yeah, just a missed shift right there. And that was all it took. He at least doesn't spin it, but, you know, all of a sudden, 
Ryan's there and he's gonna get on his inside. I imagine Billy's probably gonna try to cross under him here, but does a good job of holding that line down there. And that's uh, all it took, just one mistake, the wrong time. That's a bummer for Billy, but he still gets himself a P2 and a very strong showing for sure, so. That'll do it for this one. We get ourselves a P4, I'm so happy with that. So very happy with that. Um, it stinks that Cabe couldn't make it. Your championship leader. I, I wonder uh, why that was the case. But um, it'll be interesting to see what points look like uh, after this one. I assume that uh, stage points have not been implemented yet, but we can go ahead and take a, a look and see what we got going on. So, pardon me, I don't normally use the UI. We're forced to use it right now. So I don't really, I'm not as familiar with how to navigate this. There we go. We're still like, I guess I'll use my mouse wheel, whatever. Um, so we get P4, 33 championship points. You can see how they're all rewarded here. <laughs> 110. Oh boy, it's so funny to see. 110 incidents. So it doesn't actually record your time unless you don't get the off tracks, and I got off tracks just about every lap, so. That's fine though. We will take a look now at the leaderboard. Where do I see that? It's the roster. Sessions, seasons. Okay, view season. This should be it. Right now, since Cabe didn't show up, unfortunately, we are the points leader by 27 points. And that's uh, before stage points. And I know we got stage points. We haven't missed stage points yet this season, which is pretty awesome. I'm very happy about that. Um, so... We're going to get some more stage points right here as well. Everyone else will get some more points. But honestly, that's we're still not crazy far away from Cabe. And if he's going to continue winning the majority of the races, he's won 50% of our races so far. <laughs> so uh, he's going to be tough to beat if he keeps doing that. But this will be this will be help for us. We'll be the championship leader after this one but we'll see how long that lasts for now thank you for watching i appreciate you probably a pretty long one but uh some pretty great racing i really enjoyed being able to race hard in a stock car and uh not worry about off tracks and uh we kept it we kept it uh heading the right direction that's uh that's part of the deal that's what you got to do so Congrats to Ryan Carwile on the win. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.